Okay, this is a short video about the second go, or what I call the shit kit go. Um, there are a couple of YouTubers who promoted this printer a while back. They don't make it anymore for good reason. It sucks. Um, but if you look at the YouTube videos from like Teaching Tech and Chris's Basement, uh, they said, oh, this is a great printer, best prints I've ever gotten. Well, every 3D printed part you see here was necessary to get this machine to even function decently. And it could never print any better than an Ender 5, if that. It's slow. It uses stacked nuts, which is still being used in their new tank printer, which recently got reviewed by Teaching Tech in a build video. There was no real good way of tensioning the core XY belts. Uh, again, you know, you, you get some stacked nuts. Um, and then the print quality is just horrible. Uh, the 3D printed parts here are gonna rip this printer apart and turn it into a Mercury 1. Uh, the single Z axis motor with the belt system could not generate good, good, good prints period he sells you a you know shit kit will sell you another upgrade for 400 bucks uh, to fix their design issues uh, so avoid at all cost get a form bot Voron for less money or about the same money and get a much better experience